Spirit 105.3. You're with Erica and Steve. Hey, what's up? This is Kobe. Kobe! Hey! It's so awesome to meet you. How are you? It's so great to meet you guys, too. I am so, so good. It's a pleasure to be here. (laughs) It's a pleasure having you here. Man, your new song, we're just jamming to it every day here in the studio. What is it like to hear your song on the radio? It is pretty unbelievable. (laughs) It's like hearing it for the first time every single time. I remember distinctly being in my car with my dad listening to the radio and hearing it for the first time. And we, like, literally were all screaming. It was the most (laughs) insane experience. I mean, it doesn't get old ever. So it it is the most cool thing in the world. Love hearing that. Now, you sound like the person, especially, particularly after listening to your music a little bit, who has always got energy to mm. spare and people just kind of feed off of you. I try my best, man. I'm an extrovert through and through. I love people. I am always just ready to go and I love meeting new people. So I, I try my best, man. That's what I feel like I'm put here on the earth to do is to spread some joy in people's lives. It's working. Are you 19 years old? I am. I am 19. I turned 19 in December, actually. Well, listen, you've lived some life. I was reading about how you battled Lyme disease, and that has kind of shaped your faith journey and your music. Would you share that story with us? Absolutely. It was a really, really hard time in my life. I was young. Uh, My mom got diagnosed with it first than I did. I had like six other co-diseases with it. It was a very, very difficult time, and, and, and it was a trial in my life that, you know, I really definitely grew closer to the Lord in that time, though. Like, just relying on Him for strength and putting my faith in Him during all that was huge. And it was honestly one of the biggest reasons why I got through it. And I'm here today doing what I'm doing. Wow. That's amazing. Yes, I am. So you're a songwriter. You've got this awesome new song on the radio. Let's talk about your roots. You grew up on a farm in North Carolina. How cool is that? It's so cool. Well, the issue is I moved to Nashville last year, and I had an issue with interstates because I had never really driven on any before. So (laughs) I'm sitting there like 10 and 2, merging onto the interstate, like shaking in my boots, trying to like, like, I'm like, will this guy let me over? And there's like semis everywhere, and I was freaking out. I I'm so much better now. I can navigate my way on the interstate. It's so much better, but it was small town living. I mean, there was back roads everywhere. You didn't have to get on a highway really at all. There was a Walmart and that was all you needed, you know? (laughs) The general store. The general store. Dollar General right around the corner. I mean, look, that's all you need. Unbelievable. And your mom is a singer too. Is that right? She is. She's got a beautiful voice. She sings in my church growing up. Like my whole life, I would be sitting in the worship practice with my buddies, just like messing around while she would be in the in, on the stage practicing. It was just a, it was an every week thing. I mean, we did all the dramas. My mom had singing parts and she would sing me to sleep every single night when I was a little kid. Like it's, it's so, so cool. She's got a beautiful voice. So who are some of your musical heroes growing up? Oh, man. Well, I grew up listening to Christian radio my whole life. So Stephen Curtis Chapman has been one of my biggest influences. I love his guitar playing. My guitar's tuned the same way his is. Like, just a huge Stephen Curtis Chapman fan. I love Torn Wells. Um, I love John Mayer. He's one of my all-time mm. favorites, Michael Jackson. I love all music. I grew up around all kinds of music playing my entire life. So everything kind of feeds into what I do. I just love music in general. You gotten to meet any of those guys yet? Oh, man. I haven't met Stephen yet. I was supposed to have a write with him a lot long time ago, but it kind of fell through with all the COVID craziness of last year. So hopefully at some point in the near future, I'll get to meet him. And I've met Torin Wells once briefly, and it was pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, hoping, hoping I get to meet Stephen Curtis Chapman at some point. Oh man. When you say a right, would you take us through that? What is it like when musicians sit down together and write these songs that we sing along to every single day? Would you take us through that process? Oh, absolutely. Well, a write is really, really cool. Generally, you get in the room, and everybody does it differently. But for me, I get in a room with probably two guys. One guy's running the track. One guy is on the lyric with me. And we just kind of all just shoot ideas in the air. We're like, how does this sound? How does this sound? And then I'm a track guy, too, so I produce as well. So I'm telling the producer, like, hey, let's do this. Let's do this. And we're feeding into each other. And there's just a lot of energy in the room. And that's what's amazing about it. I'm such a collaborative person because I love people so, so much. So I come in with ideas and we just all spitball random stuff and just see what sticks because really it is that just throwing ideas and seeing what sticks and that's my favorite part I mean that's what we've always done and so that's kind of how how a song comes to be it's kind of amazing you there's an energy and a and a feeling you get when things are happening that it just is unbelievable Steve wouldn't it be fun to be a part of one of those <laughs> yes with a little uh, rhyming dictionary <laughs> 
Are we about to write a song right now, you guys? Okay. I'm down. I'll Thanks. start us off. <laughs> hey, Jude, okay. don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. I think we just wrote a hit, you guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that feels like a hit. I'm here for it. Kobe, we think you're going places. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today on Spirit 105.3. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys so much for having me. It was so much fun. We hope you'll come back. You are absolutely awesome. God bless you and everything you're doing. Thanks, God bless Kobe. you guys. Thank you so much.